A few days ago, I came across a video introducing a new mod, but recently, even more amazing mods have been released, prompting me to reach out to you all once again. There's been a launch of a truly diverse array of mods, and I'd like to start by taking a look at the visual-related mods first. Let's begin with the Skyrim Food Expansion. This mod adds over 250 new high poly food items to Skyrim, replacing and expanding the cooking options within the game. It upgrades the quality of food using high polygon models and expands the categories of food to include vegetables, fruits, meats, bakeries, cereals, ingredients, and more. If you're looking to improve the culinary experience in Skyrim, I highly recommend giving this mode a try. Next up is the High Quality Ivy Replacer Base Object Swapper Mod. This mod enhances Skyrim's ivy meshes and textures, as well as the Reach Fern's meshes and textures. It offers both 2K and 4K textures, includes animations, and is built on the Base Object Swapper Framework for varied object output. It also supports ivy for 3D Stonewall users, ensuring good compatibility with many other mods. If you like the ivy in the video, it's definitely worth giving this mod a try. Next up is Half Face's Goat Cheese. This mod enhances the goat cheese meshes and textures in Skyrim. It transforms the goat cheese wedge, goat cheese wheel, and sliced goat cheese to resemble the visuals shown in the video. The modification is in the form of a replacer without requiring an ESP. It accurately captures the yellow texture making the cheese look even more appetizing. Next up is Rally's Noble Furniture, a mod that enhances over 60 pieces of furniture. It boasts new textures, high poly handles, hinges and pillows, improved meshes with updated UV maps, and even includes SMIM chair and coffin meshes. It's truly remarkable as it's built on the base object swapper, allowing for both quality and variety to be upgraded simultaneously. In this segment, we're going to introduce a few gameplay-related mods. First up is Horse Behavior Improvements. This mod adjusts the character's posture to lean in accordance with the slope when the horse is on an incline. Unlike in Vanilla, where the character remains perpendicular to the horse regardless of the terrain, this mod allows the character to lean more towards the horse. The settings can be customized by modifying the INI file to configure the angle, limits, and interpolation speed. Additionally, if you're using the Pandora Behavior Engine instead of the Nemesis Engine, you can also utilize the Horse Pose Improvements option file. This allows for corrections to the horse's posture and adds tilting animations, so please consider this when installing. Next up is Subtitles. This mode allows for displaying up to four subtitles simultaneously in Skyrim. While the default setting in Skyrim shows only one subtitle at a time, this mode increases that number to four. This can be particularly helpful for those who prefer playing with subtitles, as it makes it easier to follow along. Moreover, if you've ever found yourself unable to finish reading a subtitle before it switches to the next, this mode will make it more convenient to read the subtitles allowing for a more immersive Skyrim storytelling experience. Before we proceed, I'd like to introduce a fabulous outfit that has recently set Tesnexus ablaze. It's called Magecore, a brand new mod created by Carnarvon. This outfit adds a Skyrim-style female mage attire to your game. It includes three main robe types that follow the vanilla magic tier leveling, expanding upon the vanilla college robes. The outfit comes with Winterhold college-themed mage robes and accessories. Unlike the uniform designs of the past, this outfit offers a variety of designs that enhance the feminine silhouette, adding more personality to your Skyrim mage. Now, enhance your Skyrim mage wardrobe with this amazing outfit. Next up is the Extended Bandit Dialogue. This mod provides bandits with new idle states, corpse notifications, and combat taunts. Using voice synthesis, it adds new lines that are nearly indistinguishable from the original voice acting, further expanding the bandits' dialogue and adding more diversity to their character. 
It is compatible with the similar mod, Bandit Lines Expansion, and can be used in conjunction with Outconflicts, as it adds new conversations to separate quests. Please take note of this for your reference. Next up is the WizKid Hunters Camp Overhaul. This overhaul mod improves the appearance of hunter camps and enhances the hunter AI. The mod generally upgrades the hunter camps with unique designs and in some places adds owl and human statues. Moreover, hunters will no longer sit idly on stumps, they will be active according to their schedules. The creator suggests that while it's not absolutely necessary, starting a new game is preferable for the best experience. This time, I'm excited to introduce a rather interesting outfit mod, the Stormcloak's Bikini Armor. This mod adds Stormcloak armor to the already popular The Amazing World of Bikini Armor. Like other armor sets, the Stormcloak is divided into various partitions, allowing you to customize the outfit to your taste. Moreover, it comes with a physics-enabled cloak, adding an extra layer of excitement to your adventures. Next up is the Grand Blue Fantasy Relink Great Axe Moves Collection. This mod allows you to use the character Vayne's Greatsword actions from Grand Blue Fantasy Relink in Skyrim. You can activate these moves by wielding a battle axe or warhammer, and sometimes during a power attack, you might unleash flame magic or trigger effects like a stomp. Despite being a heavy weapon, the moveset is quite fast and stylish. If you like the moveset showcased in the video, I encourage you to try it out. Next up is the Wo Long Fist MCO ADXP moveset. This moveset is reminiscent of Tanglang Quan and features a trail that is quite impressive with each attack. The fighting stance is quite unique and stylish. If you're interested in martial arts, this moveset might be appealing to you. It seems that Ulfric would be really pleased if there were a Stormcloak soldier who was a master of such Tanglanquan. Thanks for joining us on this modding adventure. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to stay updated with the latest and greatest in Skyrim mods. We've explored some incredible additions today, and we can't wait to see how they transform your gameplay. Check out the links in the description for all the mods featured in this chapter. Until next time, keep your swords sharp and your spells ready, adventurers. Farewell.